There's a bill in the uh, Minnesota Senate right now that um, would maybe make uh, DWI, the process of a DWI, maybe a little bit less harsh in where it would not, you would not automatically have a uh, revocation of your license um, before you actually were uh, found or pled guilty. Uh, as, as Minnesota law is, it goes right now, your, your license, if you, uh, if you um, fail a field sobriety test or you refuse to take one, uh, maybe not a field sobriety test, but a, or, or a breath test, I'm not sure which without reading it further. Uh, apparently you uh, you uh, are automatically subject to a 90-day revocation even before you uh, even before you go to court for the matter. Um, my cons the thing is is uh, of course nationwide it seems that the um, that the standard for drunk driving is is 0.08 now I don't want anybody out there to all to think that I'm that I'm condoning drinking and driving. Actually, to tell you the truth, in my industry, uh, it's just the opposite. If you uh, plan on going out and have a few drinks, you should take a cab uh, back and you know to and from wherever it is you're going to. And even even me, uh, with as much driving experience as, as I have, that's what I do. I don't. Uh, if I know I'm going to be drinking, I don't. Uh, I don't chance it. But what's happening is with this, with this, uh, with the standard of the .08 uh, uh, legal limit. What I'm finding is uh, the story is it's not the guy, the the uh, the habitual drinker, the one that uh, who goes out to uh, goes out to his bar. Uh, gets absolutely hammered and uh, then drives home. He's not the one that usually gets uh, gets nailed. The one that's the ones that are getting nailed are the ones that are barely you know barely over the limit. Happen to make a stupid move in their car, get pulled over. You know they would have probably gotten a ticket anyways for the stupid move, even if they would have been stone stone cold sober. But because they made this stupid move, you know, now all of a sudden you're going to tack uh, a DWI on on as well. I myself, and I'm I would be willing to go through this test, but I I myself feel that maybe that .08 is a is a little harsh, and I think there's been you know a lot of pressure from uh, from lobbying groups such as uh, you know Mothers Against Drunk Drivers and the like. And again, I want to reiterate that you know, drinking and driving is no joke. You really should not do it. But I, the the whole premise that a person could have their entire life changed by simply going to you know having a couple glasses of wine or a couple bottles of beer and going out and driving and being uh, being impaired. I mean, people are more impaired than that when they're driving to work every morning. Uh, from uh, the fact that they're probably still half asleep, um, you know, I I just think that this whole uh, I, I think we've gotten a little bit crazy with the uh, with the whole uh, uh, DWI thing here, and I think that, that that we should take a little harder look at what really is drunk driving. Uh, I'll leave you with that. Uh, thanks for watching. This is John Shannon, the Redneck Cabbie. Adios.